Hey everyone, in today's video, hopefully I have taught you how to unlock gold for the LAB 330. This video will have everything you need to know, including what maps you should be playing on, what game modes, my class setup, the best attachments for your weapon, what kill streaks you should be running, and additional pointers and tips. Without further ado, let's get right into it. What I'm going to do is throw some timestamps up on screen now, which will also be linked down in the description down below, so you can skim through the video and find which parts you need. Hopefully, this will help you guys out just a little bit more. So, first things first, what I want to say is that hopefully everybody had an amazing Thanksgiving. Hopefully, you had some nice turkey and whatever else you guys had. But now, let me help you familiarize yourself with what camos you'll have to unlock for your LAB 330. The first camo, Sharknet, you unlock at level 2, and you'll have to get 50 kills with the LAB. The second camo, Dirt, you unlock at level 8, and then you'll have to get two kills within 10 seconds of each other 10 times. Leafless, you unlock at level 15, and then you'll have to get 25 one-shot kills. The fourth camo, you unlock at level 21, and then you'll have to get 50 kills using a suppressor. Once you complete all four of these camos right here, you'll then have access to the gold completionist camo challenge, which then you'll have to get three kills without dying 10 times. We'll go more in depth in just a few moments about how exactly we should be unlocking all of these camos right here. Next, let's talk about my class setup for the LAB 330. Like I say in all my other videos, well, my class setup is probably not going to be the best class setup for you or for anyone else. You may be thinking, well, why? Well, the reason I say this is because what I prefer and what you prefer are probably going to be totally different and everyone has different play styles. We all prefer different attachments. So with that being said, if you still want my class setup, then here it is. Your primary, obviously, you're going to want the LAB. And these were the attachments I was running. The Schlager Peck Box IV Laser. The Forge Tac Delta 4 Optic. The ZLR T70 Pad Extension Stock. The Aim Assist 406 Comb. And lastly, the FSS ST87 Bolt. I do, in fact, have a tune for my attachments. So if you want my tune, here's my tune for the optic, here's my tune for the stock, and here's my tune for the comb. Obviously, you're not going to have all these attachments off rip, however, by the time your weapon is max level, you should have all these attachments, and this should be your final end game build for this weapon. With my attachments set up and my tunes, your weapon is going to be optimized for ADS speed. For your secondary, feel free to run whatever you want. However, if your launchers are not leveled up all the way or you just don't have any of the camo progress done, I would recommend putting on a launcher and getting those done. For your tactical, if your weapon is not max level, you should definitely be running your decoy grenades. However, if your weapon is already max level or you just don't want to level it up for some reason, then I would highly recommend running something like a stun grenade, a smoke grenade, a shock stick, or even a flash grenade. So you may be wondering, why are decoy grenades so good for leveling up your weapons? Well, that's because when you throw down a decoy grenade and one of your teammates kills an enemy near where your decoy grenade went off, you'll actually get a small amount of XP that goes towards whatever weapon you're holding. I believe the XP is called decoy distraction. So whenever you see assist points of decoy distraction, you already know it's going straight towards your weapon level, which means you'll be able to level up your weapon in a shorter amount of time, which is super, super nice. For your lethal, you can run whatever you want. I'm running a throwing knife. You may be wondering why you're running a throwing knife. Well, that's because when you throwing knife an enemy, you get XP and that XP will go towards whatever weapon you were holding out at the time. They might have changed this, but I'm not sure. With a throwing knife equipped, it also acts as a one-tap melee kill. So, when you hit the melee button one time, it'll instantly kill whoever you hit. Without the throwing knife, it takes two hits. For your perk package, I highly recommend running Scavenger, Double Time, Fast Stands, and Quick Fix. For my field upgrades, I was running Dead Silence and the Portal Radar. Feel free to change this class setup as much or as little as you'd like. I want to talk about what kill streaks you should be running when going for those camo challenges and leveling up your weapon. Since you're going for those camo challenges, I highly advise you to go against your thoughts and not use those lethal kill streaks as it'll not help you towards your camo challenges. So with that being said, the three recommended kill streaks I recommend you run is going to be the UAV, the counter UAV, and the advanced UAV. All three of these kill streaks right here are going to help you out tremendously when going for those camo challenges. So again, to sum it up, use the UAV, the counter UAV, and the advanced UAV, and I do not recommend using any of the other kill streaks unless you don't have have these three unlocked. So you may be wondering what game mode should I be playing in order to level up my weapon and get those camo challenges done much, much easier. The first game mode I'm going to recommend you play in order to level up your weapons is going to be a game mode like Invasion. Invasion is super, super good for leveling up your weapons because Invasion is a 20 versus 20 game mode with an additional 20 AIs on each team, so a 40 versus 40. When you kill the enemy AIs, you actually get the full amount of XP towards your weapon. So this will allow you to level up your weapons super quick. However, killing those AIs does not count towards any of your camo progress. 
so invasion is only good for leveling up your weapons and not any camo progress. Another amazing game mode to level up your weapons is going to be a game mode like Kill Confirmed. The reason Kill Confirmed is super good is because when you kill an enemy, they drop dog tags and picking up those dog tags will reward you with some XP. That XP goes towards whatever weapon you were currently holding out at the time. So when you pick up those dog tags, make sure you're holding out the weapon you're trying to level. Pairing Kill Confirmed with something like decoy grenades will allow you to get a ton of XP in a short amount of time. So I recommend you trying out Kill Confirmed if you don't want to play Invasion. Other game modes I highly recommend you try and play are going to be game modes like Hardpoint, Headquarters, and Domination. These game modes right here are going to allow you to get those camo challenges done a lot quicker, and it's also not bad XP for leveling up your weapons. So I highly recommend trying out these three game modes right here to get those camo challenges done and to level up your weapon. So to sum it up, play Invasion and Kill Confirmed to level up your weapons, and play those objective-based game modes to level up your weapons and get those camo challenges done. One more thing I want to mention is to try out Tier 1 mode. If you don't know what Tier 1 mode is, well, Tier 1 mode is the hardcore of this Call of Duty. If you're not familiar with what hardcore is, then basically hardcore is low health, slow health regeneration, and friendly fire is enabled with limited HUD. Tier 1 is something you can try out as a game mode to play if you're not enjoying the other game modes. You may be wondering, why is Tier 1 so good for getting those camo challenges done or leveling up your weapon if you're just going to die super quick? Well, that's the thing. In Tier 1, if you know where the enemies are and you shoot first, the odds of you killing that person is actually going to be very, very high. So if you can land your shots and shoot first, you're probably going to be able to level up your weapon super quick and get those camo challenges done much, much faster. I recommend trying out Tier 1 if you're not enjoying any of the other game modes. So you may be asking yourself, well, Skimp, what map should I be playing on to level up my LAB 330 and get those camo challenges done much, much easier? Well, what I can recommend to you is to honestly play whatever map you like playing and whatever map you're good at. The maps I would recommend are going to be those short to medium range maps. The reason I say short and medium and not long, even though this is sniper as well, because even at long range, you might still get some hit markers. So what I recommend to you is to play short and medium range and kind of forget about those long range maps. You could play whatever map you like. However, the only map I would stay away from is going to be a map like border crossing unless you absolutely love that map for some reason now let's talk exactly how we should be unlocking all of these camos right here the first camo shark net you have to get 50 kills with your lab 30. the great thing about this camo right here is well by the time your weapon is max level you really should have this camo done because it's only 50 kills however for some reason if you do not have this one done the easiest way i found to do this one was by either hopping into that shoe house playlist that's available right now or by hopping into any of the objective based game modes like domination hardpoint or headquarters and just just run around on those points, get as many kills as you can, and then you'll be able to move on to the next camo challenge. Get two kills within 10 seconds of each other, 10 times. This one's actually very simple as the LAB is an amazing close, medium, and a long range sniper rifle. With the attachment setup I gave you, you can pretty much run and gun with this around shoot house or any of these small medium maps and just gun down everybody you see. I honestly wouldn't hard focus this challenge because when you're focusing on a challenge like this, it's actually going to be a little bit harder to get those two kills within 10 seconds of each other. Again, the easiest way I found to do this one was by hopping into that shoe house playlist or any of those small maps look for those points stay on those points when you kill an enemy just keep running around until you find another one and try to kill him stay in those busy parts of the map and you'll be able to get this one done in just a couple of matches leafless get 25 one shot kills with the attachment setup I gave you, you'll be able to get this one done in honestly one to two matches. It's very simple and very easy. Just stick to those points, play shoot house 24 seven, get as many kills as you can and try to aim a chest up so you can have a higher chance of one shotting them. This sniper rifle is very good. So I see nobody having any issues with this one right here. Teal Tiger, get 50 kills using a suppressor with the LAB 330. This one is also very, very easy. What I want you to do is take off the stock and then equip something like a muzzle, the F-Tag Dreadnought, because obviously you're gonna need a suppressor. So I would take off the stock, put on the F-Tag Dreadnought, and to run around on those objective-based game modes like Headquarters, Hardpoint, or Domination, or better yet, play on Shoot House 24-7, run around, get as many kills as you can. This one honestly just takes a couple of matches, just takes a little bit of time. There is no challenge in this one. Just run around, get kills, aim for the chest up to get more one-shots. Over time, you'll be able to get those 50 kills in a short amount of time, and then you'll be able to move on to the last camo challenge. You get three kills without dying 10 times. So some of you might see this one and think, wow, this sounds pretty hard because getting three kills without dying 10 times with a sniper rifle it has to be hard right it has to be you only have one bullet and the chambering speed is so slow it's actually very easy so what i want you to do is hop into shoot house 24 7 if you have it available and if you don't play those objective based game modes and what you're going to want to do is camp up at a certain point don't just stand still but basically patrol a certain area of the map it's something i like to call it is tactically patrolling an area so whether that be a building an alleyway a corner of the map it has to be a sector of the map that you can kind of control on your own and just run back and forth from their spawn wait for them to spawn wait 
of them to come to you and just shoot them when you see them. Make sure you have those UAVs and those counter UAVs up in the air at all times so you know where they are and so they can't see where you are. You can also place down a portable radar, which will help you out just a little bit more. Again, make sure you're tactically patrolling an area, waiting for them to come to you. Push out if you have to. You can play a little bit aggressive with a sniper rifle if you're good. If you get two kills and you're scared of dying, honestly, just camp in a spot, wait for somebody to come to you, and when they run by you, just shoot them in the back. Remember, everybody, try not to get too stressed out about these camos right here because the more stressed you are, the harder the camo challenges are going to be. So you're going to want to you're gonna want to try to have a good time. Make sure you're having fun. If you're not having fun, then you should not be doing the camo grind. Once you complete this camo, though, you'll now have access to your sweet, sexy looking gold camo for your LAB 330. Ladies and gentlemen, hope you guys all enjoyed this video. Hopefully it helped you out just a little bit more. Go and get that gold camo for your LAB. If it did help you out, consider leaving a comment down below. Any feedback is appreciated and I'll be seeing you all in the next one. Happy grinding, everybody. Bye-bye.